Hi, fifth graders. Welcome to lesson 1.8, Relate Multiplication to Division. The essential question for this lesson is, how is multiplication used to solve a division problem? Now, turn in your GoMath workbook to page 17, and let's get started. Now, before we begin solving problems in this lesson, I want to talk to you about some important steps that we're going to be using as we relate multiplication to division. Let's take a look at step number one. Step number one says, write a related multiplication sentence for the division problem. So what I know is this, the division problem given is 56 divided by four equals blank. So I'm now gonna write a related multiplication sentence for that division problem. So what I now have is four times blank equals 56. So step number one, write a related multiplication sentence. Now, step number two. Step two says, use the distributive property to break apart the product into lesser numbers that are multiples of the divisor in the division problem. So what I know is this, my product is 56. So I'm gonna break apart that product into lesser numbers. So what I've done is this, I've taken 56 and I'm breaking it apart into lesser numbers. And the numbers that we've chosen are 40 and 16. And what I know about 40 and 16 is, when I add those two numbers together, they give me 56. Now, what I also know about 40 and 16 is this. They are multiples of the divisor in the division problem. I know that four times 10 would give me 40 and I know that 4 times 4 is going to give me 16. So once again, there are multiples of the divisor in the division problem. Now, a good hint is to use a multiple of 10 for one of the multiples, and we did that with 4 times 10. Now, I have 4 times 10 plus 4 equals 56. Step 3 says, to find the unknown factor, find the sum of the numbers inside the parentheses. So they're talking about the sum of the numbers inside the parentheses, which is 10 plus 4. Well, I know that when I add 10 plus 4, that's going to give me 14. So I now am finding the sum of the numbers inside the parentheses. Step 4 says, write the multiplication sentence with the unknown factor that you found. So I'm going to write the multiplication sentence as 4 times the 14, which is the number that we found, and that equals 56. Once I have the multiplication sentence, I'm going to use that multiplication sentence to now complete the division sentence. So if I know that 4 times 14 equals 56, I know that 56 divided by 4 equals 14. So the answer to my division problem is 56 divided by 4 equals the 14. Now, let's put those steps into practice. For question two, the directions say to use multiplication and the distributive property to find the quotient. Now remember, a quotient is simply the answer to a division problem. For question two, they give us 96 divided by six. Now, my first step is to write a related multiplication sentence. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna turn that into now six times blank equals 96. So step one, write the related multiplication sentence. Now step two, I'm going to use a distributive property to break apart that larger product. So I ask myself, how could I break apart that 96 into two numbers that when I add them together, it's going to give me 96, and those two numbers are also going to be multiples of my six. So what I think is, I know that if I add 60, let's write down 60, plus 36, that would equal 96. So what I've done is I've broken apart that larger product, which is 96, into two numbers that are both multiples of six, and also when I add those two numbers together, they take me to my 96. Now, we're gonna take this one step further and using the distributive property. I'm now gonna say that I know that six times 10 would give me 
the 60. Now, to that, I'm going to add plus 6 times 6. Because when I know that I multiply 6 times 6, that's going to give me 36. Now, I'm next going to write down that that's still equal to my 96. Now, here's our next step. We're going to rewrite this and we're going to take the 6 from both of these and we're going to put it outside of the parentheses and we're going to make it 6 times 10 plus the 6. Now, what I'm going to do next is this. I'm now going to add that 10 and that 6. Well, when I add 10 plus 6, that's going to give me 16. So what I have is 6 times 16 equals 96. And if I know that 6 times 16 equals 96, I now know that 96 divided by 6 is going to equal 16. And I now have the quotient to my division problem, and I've used both multiplication and the distributive property. Now, let's take a look at question number 6. Once again, our job is to use multiplication and the distributive property to find the quotient. Well, for question 6, they give us 104 divided by 4. Now, my first step, once again, is I need to write a related multiplication sentence. So if they give me 104 divided by 4, I'm going to turn that into 4 times blank equals 104. Now, my next step is I need to use the distributive property to break apart that larger product into lesser numbers that are easier for me to work with. Now, I have to remember that those lesser numbers must be multiples of 4. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break apart that 104 into the number 100 plus 4. Because I know that if I add 100 plus 4, that's going to equal 104. And what I also know is both 100 and 4 are multiples of my 4. Now, here's my next step. I'm going to break that down even further. I'm going to first of all focus on my 100 and I'm going to rewrite that as 4 times 25. Because I know that if I multiply 4 times 25, that's going to give me 100. Now to that, I'm going to add 4 times 1. Because I know that if I multiply 4 times 1, that's going to give me 4. And what I know is, that's still going to be equal to my 104. Now, I'm going to focus on the 4's inside the parentheses. And I'm now going to rewrite that with 4 on the outside, so I'm going to say 4 times. And then in parentheses, I'm going to place the 25 plus the 1. And once again, I know that that's still going to be equal to 104. Now my next step is, I have to find the sum of the numbers inside the parentheses. So I know that when I add 25 plus 1, that's going to give me 26. So I now have 4 times 26 equals 104. Well, if I know that 4 times 26 equals 104, I also know that 100 divided by 4 is going to equal 26. And I have now used the multiplication and the distributive property to find the quotient of this problem. Now, let's take a look at question number 8. Once again, our job is to use multiplication and the distributive property to find the quotient. And for question 8, they give us 102 divided by 6. So I know that my first step needs to be to write a related multiplication sentence to 102 divided by 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite that as 6 times blank equals 102. Now my next step is I'm going to use the distributive property to break apart that larger product into numbers that are smaller and easier to work with, but remember they also have to be multi multiples of my 6. So when I think about 102, I think about breaking that apart into a 60 plus 
of 42. Because what I know is, when I add 60 plus 42, it's going to give me 102. And what I also know is, both 60 and 42 are multiples of 6. Now, we're going to take this a step further. And I'm going to first of all focus on my 60. And I'm now going to break that apart into 6 times 10. Now I'm going to focus on my 42. And I'm going to break that apart into 6 times 7. Because I know that 6 times 10 is 60. And I know that 6 times 7 is going to give me 42. And what I also know is that's still going to be equal to my 100. 2. Now, I'm going to take my 6 out of the parentheses, and I'm now going to rewrite that as 6 times, in parentheses, 10 plus the 7. And that's still going to be equal to my 102. Now, my next step is I've got to find that unknown sum inside the parentheses. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to add my 10 plus my 7, and I know that 10 plus 7 is going to give me 17. So I now have 6 times 17 equals 102. And what I know is if 6 times 17 equals 102, I know that 102 divided by 6 is going to equal my 17. So I have now used multiplication and the distributive property to find the quotient. Now, let's take a look at question number 10. It's one of our real world problem solving questions and it says, Ken is making gift bags for a party. He has 64 colored pens and wants to put the same number in each bag. How many bags will Ken make if he puts four pens in each bag? So what I know is this. I know that he has 64 colored pens. And I also know that he wants to put four of those pins in each bag. So the question is, how many bags will Ken make? So what I'm going to do is, I know that I'm going to take my 64 pins, and if I'm going to put four in each bag, I'm dividing 64 by four to find how many bags he can make. Now, I'm going to once again use, or I'm going to relate my multiplication to division in order to solve this problem. So my first step is going to be this. I'm going to need to write a related multiplication sentence. Well, if I know that 64 divided by 4 equals blank, I'm going to rewrite that as 4 times blank equals 64. Now that I have my related multiplication sentence, I'm now going to use a distributive property to break that product into lesser numbers. So what I think about is this. If I have 64, I can break that apart into 40 plus 24. Because I know that if I add 40 plus 24, that's going to equal 64. And what I also know is this. 40 and 24 are both multiples of 4. Now, let's break this down even further. I'm first of all going to focus on the 40. And I'm now going to rewrite that as 4 times 10. To that, I'm going to add, let's focus on the 24, and I'm going to break that apart. And I'm going to make that 4 times 6. And what I know is that's still equal to 64. So I have 4 times 10, which equals the 40. And I have 4 times 6, which equals the 24. Now, I'm going to focus on the 4's, and I'm going to take those 4's out of the parentheses. And I'm now going to rewrite that as 4 times 10 plus 6. And once again, I know that that's going to be equal to 64. Now, my job is to find the sum of the numbers in the parentheses. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to add 10 plus 6, and I know that that's going to give me 16. So I now have 4 times 16 equals 64. And if I know that 4 times 16 equals 64, I also know that 64 divided by 4 is going to equal 16. 
So what I know is, is that Ken can make 16 bags. And we've used, once again, multiplication and the distributive property to find that quotient. Now, let's take a look at question number 11. It's another one of our real-world problem-solving questions, and it says, Maritza is buying wheels for her skateboard shop. She ordered a total of 92 wheels. If wheels come in packages of four, how many packages will she receive? So what I know is this. I know that Maritza ordered a total of 92 wheels, and I know that the wheels come in packages of four. So they want to know how many packages will she receive. So I'm going to take the 92 wheels, and I know that the wheels come once again in packages of four, so I'm going to divide the 92 by four. Now, our job is going to be to find the quotient of this division problem. Now, my first step is going to be this. I need to write a related multiplication sentence. So if I have 92 divided by 4 equals blank, I'm now going to rewrite that as 4 times blank equals 92. Now, I'm next going to use the distributive property to break apart that larger product into smaller or lesser numbers that are easier to work with. Well, if I have 92, what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that 92 apart into 80 plus 12. Because I know that if I add 80 plus 12, that's going to take me to 92. Now, what I also know is I know that 80 and 12 are also multiples of 4. So those are good numbers to choose. Now, my next step is going to be this. I'm going to break that down even further. I'm going to turn my 80 into 4 times 20. Because I know that if I multiply 4 times 20, it's going to give me 80. Now, my next step is I'm going to focus on the 12. And I'm going to break that apart into 4 times 3. Because I know that if I multiply 4 times 3, that's going to give me 12. And once again, I know that that's going to be equal to my 92. Now I'm going to focus on those 4's. And I'm going to take those 4's outside of the parentheses, and I'm going to rewrite that as 4 times, now in parentheses, 20 plus 3. Because if I have 20 plus 3, that represents my 20 here and my 3 here. Now once again, I know that that's going to be equal to 92. Now my next step is, I have to find the sum of the numbers inside the parentheses. So I'm going to add my 20 plus my 3. Well, I know that if I add 20 plus 3, that's going to give me 23. So I know that 4 times 23 is going to equal 92. And if I know that 4 times 23 equals 92, I also know that 92 divided by 4 would equal my 23. So I'm going to write my 23 down, and that's going to be the quotient to my division problem. So she'll receive 23 packages. Now, let's take a look at your homework questions for tonight. I would like you guys to complete question number one and question number two, as well as numbers three through six. These questions can be found on page 18 in your GoMath workbook. Don't forget, somewhere on your homework page, I want you to let me know, do you feel like you're number one a novice, number two an apprentice, number three a practitioner, or number four an expert? Don't forget, once again, your homework questions for tonight will be to complete number one and number two, as well as numbers three through six, found in your GoMath workbook on page 18. I hope you have a great evening, and I look forward to seeing you in class tomorrow.